Good afternoon everybody. Let's work on this level of style knife a little bit today. I've got several others I'm working on as well. But um it's still a little bit rough, still roughed out, but is um, good enough to get the guard fitted. Now this one will take a guard. This one's gonna be milled where it slides over and is pinned to the blade itself in this area right here. Now I'll have to cut a notch in here, probably with the milling machine with an end mill. Uh, but first I've got to cut the guard itself. Let me show you what I got set up here. Hang on. That noise you hear in the background is a frog. All right, I invested in me a little saw. Now this is a high speed saw for steel. Now the guard on this one is actually gonna be aluminum. What I have to do is cut a slot in to uh, fit up on the blade. And this should cut one eighth of an inch. Now I've never done this before. I've never used one of these. I actually should have got the bigger size, bigger around, but uh, I think this will work. So y'all get to come with me on the very first try here. See if we can't get the camera right up here out of the way somewhere, maybe not too much of a glare. Now being as this is aluminum, it's pretty soft. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed the, feed the, uh, table into the saw uh, let's see we might better put some oil on it anyway hang on a minute hold it up a little bit all right we're gonna go at a sort of a slow speed and let's see how it does Safety glasses on. Just realized something. Okay, it's cutting good, very, very good. If I move that, feed that table out, and we'll go past this collet here, maybe, and cut all the way because I want to cut a little deeper than that. Hang on, let me get it reset, and then we'll see it again. All right, let's try this. Hope you can see that. And it looks like it's clearing all the way across. So.
All right, let's see how we did. Okay, didn't cut all the way through. Gonna have to get a deeper saw, but I can make this work. You just go. I know you machinist guys are cringing. And what is he doing? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to finish it out and get it sort of even with the other. And I can always flatten it with a file in the middle there. And then we'll check the fit. All right, like I suspected, right there in the center it didn't cut. But uh, with a bigger blade, wider, uh, I think it'll do okay. I'll have to get on ordering one of those. <coughs> now, like I said, I've never used this, so I didn't know exactly what to get. I did have to get a saw collet, which that costs more than the blade. But uh, now the fit, that's eighth inch thick or eighth inch fit. Uh, that's going to be perfect. See what I'm saying? It's going to slide up on there. And then the bottom piece, it'll get cut off of course and middle of a finger guard in there it'd be very it won't be long it'll be pretty short but there we go now i'm gonna put it over here on the vise take a needle file and flatten that down flat so it'll slide all the way up on there so i can measure and cut my little notch and the notch won't be big just a little bit to hold it if i even put it i may double pin it and that'll hold it forever there we go it's all trial and error the only way to learn it is to do it if you wished you could do it do it you can do it all right trying to get the camera where y'all can see it all right got a 5 16 end mill in here this is the biggest one i have i'm gonna do now i'm gonna move in and make me a cut this notch in the blade now it's just a shallow notch it's not much at all but that will compensate for the last bit of uh, length that I need to go in there I think well, let's see get cranked up here Look, safety glasses. Just in case. Look, very slow. this way I've got it marked worth about where I want it
go now let's uh i don't want to take it out of the vise i'm gonna leave it right there in case i'll have to cut some more i can file that off square if i need to which will be fine see if it'll fit up on there I'll have to go a little bit deeper. All right, I'll just keep doing this and snibble out a little bit more, and we'll uh, we'll check it out again here in a minute. All right, I apologize for the noise, for that noise you hear. It is rain. We had a there's going on now a severe weather outbreak in the southeast, and if you live here, you know that. Uh, they predicted here that we were supposed to get bad part of it today they actually closed schools now, a few businesses shut down but uh, it never happened just had one little thunderstorm and now it's just raining which is good for us but uh, there's tornadoes popping all over Alabama and Georgia I think mainly in Georgia right now but anyway let's get back to our knife project now this is going to be part one got the guard milled and it took a lot of doing uh, hand filing hand shaping and all this but I got it and I've learned what to do next time now this will get a little more shaping in the end a little bit of a round in here and the pattern is cut about a 32nd of an inch proud of what it's really supposed to be so this will get ground off uh, plush and rounded off got just a little bit of a gap in here but once it's pinned after it's heat treated I will uh, solder that up with some solder which is the way a lot of people do it so uh, now we're gonna mount it back in the mill Got the drill bit installed. I'm gonna put one pin. And I'll show you what it looks like. There's our notch. It slides up. And that locks in place. So the bottom is secure. Put one pin here. And this is gonna have stainless steel pins. Uh, this aluminum will polish up really, really nicely. Black micarta handles, because I have some. And on this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a high polish, like that uh, Antler Skinner showed y'all a while back. If y'all like the high polish, let me know. I can do it. I never said I couldn't do it. I never said I wouldn't do it. I just said it's a, uh, if you get a high polish, you just got to take care of it. That's all. That's all I was saying. So, uh, put your panties back on straight. Stop being dumb. <laughs> he knows who I'm talking to, and that's all of that. So, now let me get this mounted up in the mill. We'll drill our pin hole. We have to do it now because if we do it after it's heat treated, I won't be able to drill this. So, Move the camera around, we'll drill that hole, and that'll be it for today. All right, we're all lined up. Let's get a... Let's get our safety glasses on. Get my fingers out of the way. Uh, 
There we go. There is our pinhole. We clean that up. Now this has a little shallow Ricasso area right there, so the ground will start there. And we'll go ahead and do the grind. And all this will get flattened out in the very end. Alright, that is part one. I'm tired of listening to it rain. I'm ready to go in and get a sandwich. So thank y'all very much for watching. Nope, let me get you turned around here. Hang on, always an adventure. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And if anybody wants in early, this will be available in a couple of days. So, interested, let me know and we'll talk. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.